300 classic I guess is uh, one of my favorite um, track meets and I'm just happy for the win. You know the sun came out just before the 100 meters. How did that make you feel? Well we are athletes and we have to plan for whatever weather condition it is and it was pretty good you know even though we're from a tropical climate and I just came out here execute and I'm just happy for the results. You know this was a good lineup. Um, um, how your preparation going for the World Athletics in another 50 days time? The preparation is going good even though I had some challenges in and out of practice but I came out here today with a mindset of a champion and I did deliver and I'm just happy with that. I think that puts me in a spot to see where I'm at right now and what can I work on for the rest of the coming weeks, to, weeks and days to come. You know, I ha they, they felt that Shikara Richardson, how you felt about um, the competition in this, especially Shikara, you know, that she seemed to be back coming second. She's a good athlete and I think she's taking her way back on the track and I think you guys should see where some breed and let her breed and come and try to perform. And um, for the World Championships, um, you will be doubling, of course. I, for the moment now, I'll be doing both events at the champion at the trials, but I think I want to double. But I'm just seeing where my body lies, and I think I will just after the trials, I pretty much decide on that. But I'm just happy for everything so far. Elaine, this, you're going after your first world championship gold medal. Tell me, how you feel about that? I am feeling good, you know, I only have um, Olympic medals, which is gold. I have a World Championship silver medal, which is 2015, and I think I'm just working towards claiming a gold to add to the tally. Okay, con uh, wish congratulations on today, and I wish you all the best for the season. Thank you so much. Alain, how, how have you kept your motor? I mean, you had such a successful effort in Tokyo. How have you kept that fire for you to continue all the training? To keep the fire going, it's, it's challenging sometimes, especially when you have bumps in the road. And and I think I have like a couple bum bumps this early season and I think I'm just hurdling those. I am a fighter and every champion every champion have something that they're fighting or going through, you know. We are putting our body through something that is never done before or even should be doing. But this is my career, it's my job, and I'm just here fighting and doing what I love. What have those bumps been? Do you want to share now? I had uh, this look in my shoulder. It's, it's not 100%, but I'm happy for whatever I had today on the track. I see the result. I see where I want to be. I have a lot more to work on. I'm just excited. What are your thoughts on having the World Championships here at Hayward Field and having them in the Western Hemisphere for one of the few times only? It is good. I think it is more good for us as athletes to get fans back in the stadium. Last year we didn't have any, any fans, but I think most of my country um, fellow citizens will come up here and to watch us compete. It's closer to home and I'm just excited for the crowd um, this summer. Can you tell us what happened last week? You were supposed to run in Birmingham and you pulled out but you ended up running at, racing at home. If you are listening, I said I had some discomfort in my shoulder. <laughs> Uh, what can you tell me about uh, doubling uh, last this year and last year in the pre-class? Come again? Uh, winning last year and this year. What can you tell me about that? Oh, last year was coming out for a championship. This year is before a championship. So this prepares me to look forward for a championship and to see where I'm at right now. And I think I'm happy to see where I'm at right now. So, Lane, you spoke about in the press conference yesterday, whenever you feel slow in my free warm up, you always run fast. Is that proven again today? <laughs> not all the time, but today was different. You know, the condition was not what I expected to be, but we trained for that. And I'm as happy as for the preparation going to the championship and our national trials. You know, take it race by race to prepare us mentally and physically. And I'm just happy for everything so far. And I know you speak about your faith often and overcoming these injuries. Has God's been a big part of your life and, you know, rebuilding yourself and overcoming a lot of things. Yeah, especially, yes, and my grandmother, she's very spiritual, you know, she prays for me a lot. She always tells me to pray. My family, my husband, my management, everybody, the support and the love I got is real, you know, and that's, that keeps me going.